Waking up happy with PJ and Jim. Look who's back. Yeah, Des, Des, Des is Des. back. Jazz Bishop is back. It's great to be here, guys. It's the only place I feel like I can be myself, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, um, I, I, it's probably the first time we've ever had a guest wearing a jacket. I you, we've never had a well-dressed um, well guest at all before. Yeah. And that's telling the truth. Nobody, they come in their tracks. I mean, I'm, I'm well, genuinely when you're in impressed. Your 40s, when you're in your 40s, like, you know these guys in their 20s, like, they're all ripped on Instagram. They're like, hi, guys, I just had a protein shake, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hashtag, you know, hashtag all you steroids, you know, I want to get 20% off. Uh, but when you're in your 40s, you got to go with the, like, daddy thing, you know, the, the sugar good daddy silver fox thing so that's what I'm going for you, know? you, look, hey. you look really hey, well hey girls in their 20s you're looking for somebody <laughs> to make you feel secure yeah the yeah, man's yeah. even wearing socks and his trousers that fit which is a huge which is a nice that's thing to impressive. see these days. No, that actually, is impressive in, in, in truth I'm, um, I'm I'm doing a, a photo shoot later for the Irish Times so I, I had I, I have a busy day, so I don't have time to get home and change. So. All right, well, sorry to bore you. That's with a, the, the that's a call of the good yeah. out of him dressing up the, for us, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 no, if it had been you yeah. guys, I would have showed up in pajamas. <laughs> but I mean, basically, it's the time. I know. I didn't people. know I was supposed to wear like a tight shirt, show off my pecs. <laughs> you know, because because the, the, the air conditioning is broken in the studio today, so these guys it's, are both like wearing hardly anything. Yeah, oh, you're yeah. lucky. You're lucky you got PJ wearing trousers. Uh, yeah, in fairness, normally it's like, shorts. shorts. Oh, the, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. This is like actually quite a lot of clothes for me to wear at work. Yeah. Or not. yeah, you actually look like 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 a, like a gay community worker <laughs> in Dolphin's Bar. <laughs> like you know, like it's like yeah, we're just like you know, today we're gonna work on like you know uh, believing in yourself today. <laughs> Yeah, believe it in your stuff. When I was young, nobody would accept me. You know, like you just have that. I know, I'm, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm not making fun of that. I think that guy's oh, a yeah, great yeah. guy. I think he's a great guy too. He's not me. He's, he's two things I'm not. He's gay and healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Listen, we better, we better say I something about the show. Bar, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> we better say something about the yeah, show. Yeah, so it's this Bishop. Another show. You have me to like and no, 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 no. So the last time we, I was on... I was I was sort of at the second half. I was at the the end half of that last tour. Yeah, but right. I already knew the last time we were chatting that this tour was coming up. But this is very different. But it's still not a long. It's not a huge gap between tours, though. Between no, no, different it's shows. not. No, yeah. but I did have the whole summer off, so I was kind of working on this in the interim. Then I finished off the last one. I can't even remember the name of the last tour. What was the name of my last bleeding tour? <laughs> oh God, I, I can't even remember. Don't know. Hey, my brain there's is, a woman. There's a woman here who knows. Yeah. Yeah. No, I no, no. wasn't even looking after that one. <laughs> but uh, my brain is so frazzled. Anyway, long story short, I knew that me and Mama was coming, but it's a very different entity. So to me, it doesn't feel like oh God, I'm jumping into this next thing because it's such a different, it's such Joe. a different beast. Yeah, yeah. That, so what what is it then, me and Mama? What's 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 the, what's the I story? Mean, it, with it's it? a stand up. It's a comedy show, but it's much more in the sort of one man show vein. It's a little bit more like my dad was nearly James Bond. If people, if if any of my fans are still alive, <laughs> uh, they, they remember. I'm only joking because yeah. it wasn't that long. They're ago. out there two, wearing their jackets. Two, <laughs> 2010, 2011. I toured a show about my dad, but uh, yeah, you know, that started when he was alive. It's a little bit more about sort of like appreciating your father before he goes. Whereas this show is a little bit more about sort of like. You know, death, logistics of death, a little bit about, you know, relationship with the mother, but it's a little bit more like the humor of uh, funerals and, and, you know, just dealing with after, you know, after you die stuff, after somebody yeah. dies stuff. But you're good at this, man, because like this is the second time you've done a stand up show. It's very much a stand up show, but it's still a one man show, too, and made it like they got great humor out of yeah. not great circumstances. I, I, exactly. But, but I don't think that's as abnormal as people think. Just for some reason, we're very sensitive around death. Yeah. You know? But yeah. there's actually people joke about a lot of, you know, tough stuff. Like Ricky Gervais was joking about some really tough stuff only a couple of, you know, yeah. only a couple of days yeah. ago. Yeah, and it's kind of the same thing, you know? And, uh, yeah, you get, do get, and his argument get, is uh, if a joke is good enough, it can be about anything. Yeah. If it's a proper funny gag. But I actually think can, that jokes about death are like really important. Oh, same you know? here. Yeah. I like thinking, if we're honest, funerals are hilarious. Yeah. They're hilarious. <laughs> they are. They're, they're are absolutely hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. I love the way they start with the nodding. So if you're at a distance, you nod up. <laughs> yeah. And then the closer you get, the, the, the more down the yeah. nods get. You, know, you mean in terms of like people seeing you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that arrival. So you've like, You've been there not so long ago, so you, the awkwardness around the person who's bereaved as well. I mean, there's there's great comedy. In I know, it, but like, the hilarious yeah. thing is that people think people think that I'm sorry for your loss or my condolences is lazy. So they're looking for something else to say. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say I'm sorry. Else. I'm in that boat. I yeah, feel but there's that there's nothing I'm... else to say. Yeah. <laughs> so the problem is, it's not about you. 
You know, yeah. but you're yeah. so somebody's just died, and you're worried about how they feel about you. It's yeah, like it's not yeah. about you. That's yeah, yeah. the problem with funerals. Most people make it about them. Yeah. It's like my mother died. It's nothing to do with you. Relax. Yeah. Sorry if you lost. And tell me a joke or get out of my face. Yeah, and yeah. I really, you're, walk, you're someone, walking away, going, I can't believe I went with them. I'm sorry if you're lost. Yeah, yeah, my friend. My He's going to be thinking I'm an idiot now for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got nothing else on his mind now except for me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, I bet you right. That, that, that is another great thing about death. It finally relieves you from your own self obsession. You know, which just proves. Yeah. <laughs> think about themselves way too much but hey on a serious note uh sometimes people say she's looking down on you that's like a thing that people like to say like yeah, this whole, yeah. Like, they like to keep the presence yeah, like, yeah. alive yeah you know? yeah which i think is nice when you have like a nice moment like like tomorrow night i'll be going on stage in the three arena right john bishop and all the lies a huge show and i, I nearly said the f-bomb there but it was kind of so under my breath that i don't oh, think no, it beautifully every done. Morning, <laughs> every morning every beautifully morning done. every morning every morning done. <laughs> like, I'm laughing, man. and uh so uh yeah, I'll be walking out. And then, of course, in that scenario, you feel like, oh, yeah, she's looking down at you. You know, it's a nice yeah. thought. But then you're in your room on your own, you know, doing, <laughs> what, doing what you do, watching what you watch, and you're yeah. like, nah, nah. No. There's yeah. no. Yeah, how many poo walk by your Instagram? Yeah, 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 anywhere. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. like, I didn't know he, I didn't know he, I didn't know he was into back yeah. <laughs> stuff. So can you say that? Can you say? I, yeah. Because that's like, kids won't know what I'm talking about. Then. Look. That's like over the head. Yeah. You know? Look, you're, you're becoming self-obsessed. Stop worrying yeah, about yeah. it. Okay? Stop worrying it's about fine. it. It's fine. It's fine. Stop worrying about the BAI. Have you experienced kind of a, a, the non-Irish funeral thing? Like, have what are you, you talking about? My mother had a non-Irish funeral. Like, I had an American funeral. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, like, what's, is there a massive, massive difference? Is there? I mean, like... In I guess I guess I, I I'm gonna contradict myself because actually our funeral is probably a little bit more like the Irish but the Americans are much more into the wake. Like in Ireland, you have the removal. Yeah, you don't yeah. have as much the view in the body thing here, right? That's not as much of a thing. No, well, yeah, it's a pain. It's a pain. It's, it's, it's dying out a bit, but yeah, it yeah. used to be. It's an older thing. You mean in now. the gaff? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But like, as opposed to the funeral home kind of place, or yeah, well, oh, Americans sort of, yeah. like the funeral home with the view in the body and everybody. Oh yeah, no, that's yeah, not. So yeah, you don't yeah, do yeah. that. No, no. no. Yeah, so. Uh, so there's no removal in, in America. You have like a, like a prayer service at the wake, but it's very much, you go up to the body, you kneel, you say a prayer and then, you know, you, you, you tell some jokes or whatever. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, so it's similar, except that the funeral home thing is a lot bigger in the States. And then the mat, like everybody I know that's dying in the, died in the States, the, the funeral mass is never even close to as crowded as the Irish funeral mass. Like, really? yeah. yeah, like Irish funeral masks are always mobbed. And you, you have know? that determination to shake hands with the people at the end of the States. You know, <laughs> oh, like, that's very yeah. important. Like, Even though you, you know, have to wait for two hours yeah, standing yeah. in the queue. And you'd be elbowing people out your way. Look at your man standing in front of me. I hadn't seen him for three years, now he's here determined to shake yeah, hands. And then, and then, out yeah, the you feel great yeah, if they yeah. give you like more time than you expected. Like, oh, I guess I'm more important than I yeah. thought. Yeah. You know? yeah. Did everybody oh, see that? Did everybody see? Oh my God, I thought that was only me. That was hell. Yeah, I got a hug. You got a handshake. I got a hug. You know, just just saying. You could see she didn't even know who your man was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't even know him. Well, that was a joke. I, I, I say the joke in the show is like, yeah, I could tell people that knew my mother and who didn't because people that didn't know my mother very well come up and be like, oh, she was a lovely woman. And then people that really knew her were like, formidable. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. They knew my mom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, She was such a lovely woman. It's like, what, what, what did you meet her once? <laughs> you, you weren't there at 8 o'clock when we're late for school, I can tell you that. <laughs> By the way, can, can, can I do the thing You weren't there the when we were haggling for a Christmas tree on Christmas Eve. <laughs> what? That $20? You're going to throw it out tomorrow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> my mom, you, know, you know, she used to make us, we used to wait till Christmas Eve to buy a Christmas tree. She said it was a tradition. It's like, no, your oh. father was cheap. Your father was cheap <laughs> from County Down. And he's like, we'll wait till Christmas Eve. I have to pay five dollars for a Christmas tree, right? So my mother kept that tradition going for years, and the, the, you know, you know how disgusting it was. All these Italians, they have they had tree up since August. Yeah. You know, like because you guys didn't have to deal with other cultures. You know, you just had to deal with all yeah, yourself. Was, you were all insecure. Yeah. Everybody's insecure together. Whereas I grew up around you know confident kids that were loved. You know, actually physically, <laughs> physically hugged. They had like a physical example of a fact. You know, like they knew that they were loved. They didn't assume it. You know, <laughs> and because uh, Italian mothers actually tell you like I love you, whereas Irish mothers just kind of thunk like well what's all the sacrifice coming from it's from yeah. uh, you know I'd rather be on my own doing my own thing but I've given up everything for you so if that's not love I don't know what love is you know the Irish love comes with like a lot of cost and backstory so uh, anyway imagine the stress of that like Christmas Eve and my mom's like you're gonna throw it out tomorrow it's like mom it's it, you know it's, it's 12 hours till Saints is coming down the chimney can we get this tree please it's already dead it's been on the side of the road for a month and a half oh. give the guy 20 bucks and let's get on with our lives <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, I'm sorry for your loss. That's when people say I'm sorry for your loss. I'm like, yeah, it's only 50% sorry, 50%. Jeez, was, she was very stressful. <laughs> I'm only joking. She's oh. looking down at me now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about oh last night. God, it's not brilliant. my goal of porn. Oh, <laughs> it's called right. uh, Me and Mama, uh, Des Bishop's current uh, new Irish tour. And it starts, well, it starts it's it's literally a couple of days. Saturday night in Ashburn. Saturday night in Ashburn. Yeah. And, and I mean, God, the, hotel, the amount of dates. The hotel man. function room shows are not as, as one man showy as the. When I'm in a theater, I do like a whole video thing. When I'm in a hotel, it's more like the crack we're having now, you know? Yeah, but it's all, yeah. That is the vibe of the show. It's not very like. It's not very emotional. I mean, I throw an emotional bit at the end because I feel like you have to. But, you know, like, you know, I do that. Like, and then the women love that. And they're like, oh, it's great. You're very honest. But uh, it's just, it's a show, man. I, yeah. I, I so got, ultimately, it's like a real funeral. Yeah, Everybody it's turns a, up. There's a few serious moments. And otherwise, we all end up yeah, having to crack and talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then really good you know, the triangle of sandwiches at my show. Yeah. 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 Well, it always ends with people going, and then remember the time the yeah. mad fella did. Except yeah. the time it's you and you're yeah. alive yeah. at the end. Yeah. But by the way, can I just pay homage just at the end of our chat here to the dude that put the, the the, the, the voice recorder thing in his coffin you know it was like hello oh yeah, 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 yeah. that to me is a very that Irish was, moment I thought that yeah it was just brilliant wasn't it your man yeah. from Clondalkin I think it was yeah, yeah that was great I loved see that's what I love that's, that's, that's kind of like if people say to me like how can you be funny with death it's like well there's a perfect example yeah you know <laughs> yeah. there's plenty of sad times I mean most of it's actually sad so it's great to get a break from it you know <laughs> yeah. and that's not just funerals that's life yeah I know I Brilliant. died on stage loads of times it's horrific <laughs> yeah. it's, well you it's didn't horrific. you didn't die on stage you, the funny thing is that for some reason you get Tony Robbins out on you you are so you constantly associate gigging with negative experiences despite the fact that's that if you they look, are negative. no if you look at your <laughs> yeah. career PJ because I've watched you for a long time the majority of your shows are amazing, but for some reason, you have this mental association with negative experiences before your shows, which you have now imprinted that in your body. This is story. brilliant. This is like you watching, need to change like that watching story. therapy happen yeah, in front of your very eyes. I, I don't do gigs gig. at all. Yeah, you gave it up, but that's given in, you gave into it, which is a pity because you're so funny. Oh, I don't know. I never liked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, obviously, Des, you haven't been subjected to PJ's no, um, new philosophy. The new was, philosophy. The His new philosophy was, is give I wasn't up adopted. on your dreams. He's got a heavier load to deal <laughs> yeah. with, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my fault. I didn't give have to up deal with your dreams. Crap. The worst thing you can do is, a, is, a, is yeah. achieve your Stop dreams. Stop aspiring. <laughs> because Stop then their dream is gone. And you're left with the reality yeah, of the situation. you have to wake up at five in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is great, though. And now I'm his nightmare. I'm kidding. I think... I think it's great. I would love to get up in the morning, wear a tight T-shirt, you know, <laughs> you know, sweating bullets, yeah, making yeah. people laugh. I, I know, is I this, this, this is over. Put this on YouTube. This is surely we've blown the we've blown the light here. Well, so, <laughs> well, the, the, after this show, you know that uh, PJ has to go off and do his uh, counseling. And where was it? Dolphins Bar. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I have exactly. to help out a few people for us. Yeah, he has to help out a few people. <laughs> right, me and Mama is what it's called. This <laughs> Bishop on tour, kicking off in just a couple of days' time. Actually, no, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow, tomorrow yeah, Saturday. Tomorrow, tomorrow. we're yeah, not yeah. recording at all. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we are, we're not, we're we're not doing this at a different time. Why are we even pretending? This yeah. came in yesterday, and this is the chat that we had. Yeah, because right now, no, because right now, I finally have time to have a dump. Because yeah. <laughs> like, that's it. They'll know we're in the spa or doing the poo. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll break the illusion. Right. Yeah, that, break the illusion. Radio. On that note, Des Bishop. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Des. <laughs>